Hi, I'm Guy Harris. I'm here with my partner, Kevin Eikenberry. We're the owners and developers of DiscPersonalityTesting.com, and we've already uh, recorded a series of frequently asked question videos, and today what we're here to talk about are some of the questions that we wish people would ask us about using and applying the DISC model. And one of the questions that we wish people would ask, in fact, it, it, to me, maybe this is the most important question of all, mm -hmm. um, is how can I adjust my delivery and my communication with someone else based on their my knowledge of their disk profile? And we've recently recorded another video, and there's a link to it right here on the page, that starts this, uh, that says, how do I understand them better? But now, once I understand them, how do I adjust my delivery to be more effective with them? And I would start with them first, and understand them, and then based on what I know about the DISC model, try the best I can to uh, emulate or uh, apply the behaviors that I see the DISC model teach. For example, um, had a mentor of mine tell me one time that I need to learn how to smile to be more successful with people, and it didn't resonate with me at all. I had no clue what that even meant because my natural tendency is to be completely monotone and straight-faced. Um, he gave me some tips on how to do that, and I started paying attention to people with eye traits, smiling very freely, uh, telling stories, using their hands as I spoke, being very expressive. And I started trying to practice those behaviors, first in private so it wasn't weird, and then with others. And uh, one of the things I noticed is if I just practice behaving in the way I see this person behave, I can connect with them better. So I start by understanding, and then I just pay attention to how do they respond to situations and how can I apply that behavior in my interactions with them so I can build a bridge with them. A highly oversimplified answer Incredibly here simplified. is mirror. Mirror. Right? Yeah, so absolutely. like yeah, yeah. I'm the more I guy yeah, between the yeah, two yeah. of us, right? So if you have that person and you're more task oriented, more cautious, yep. that uh, that you might be more expressive around certain people. I'll give you another example. So Guy is more cautious, he's analytical, he's logical and all of those things. So if I'm gonna take something to Guy, I need to go into him with some data and with some background or at least asking him to say, hey, oh, I know we still need some data. Sing it, buddy, sing I it. I know I am. <laughs> and so that's the adjustment too. Once I know what their needs are and DISC, can give you a way to get a handle on those needs. Mm -hmm. Then I go make sure I'm meeting those needs, I'm addressing those things with that person. Now, one of Guy's secondary styles is D, which is dominant. So sometimes Guy is more uh, faster paced, he's a little more task driven, not for the quality answer, but for an answer. And so if, if in those moments that he's maybe moving a little quicker, then I can pick up my pace with Guy, mm -hmm. don't have to give him quite as much data, and we can talk more about getting it done. So that's in both cases, when I know him and I know his style, or and again, my point would be this, even if you don't know the person, just what are you hearing from them right Absolutely. now, and try to try to match that up or move in that direction with them. Now, the idea of mirroring is very simple and oversimplistic, but that if you start with that idea, then you give yourself the tools that the DISC model can provide you, now you've got something. So hopefully the examples that we've just shared will help you just a little bit in that way. And we would leave you with this. Most people take a DISC assessment to understand themselves, mm -hmm. which is great. What we've just been talking about is a, a big expansion of that idea. It isn't just about understanding ourselves. It's about understanding a framework enough so we can be better at influencing and communicating with others. Yeah, but at this point in the video, I can say that there are three things I know are probably true about you. One, you're still with me on the video. Two, you're probably interested in the DISC model and learning more about it. And three, this is my guess, that you're probably interested in learning how you can use that information to become a better communicator, a more effective leader, better team member, better parent, somehow improve your communication and connection with other people. And if those things are true, I'll let you know that there is some additional information you could get at DiscPersonalityTesting.com. If you go to DiscPersonalityTesting.com, you have an opportunity to either take a free or paid assessment, whatever works best for you.